All right, it's mid-September, but rains are just never ending, just not ending at all. While we might enjoy the cooler weather, there's a deeper story behind the skies that refuse to clear. The monsoon, which traditionally begins to retreat around this time, has been overstaying its welcome, especially in North and Central India. And it's not just this year, it's been the trend for the past several years. In fact, metrologists are now almost certain that we'll continue to see rain until October, marking yet another year of delayed withdrawal. But why exactly is this happening? So, scientists actually point to a few reasons and we're going to walk you through some of them right now. One is low pressure systems that are over the uh, Bay of Bengal as we speak. Two, the region's changing land use patterns. They also talk a little bit about how what used to be arid land is now cultivated and that is leading to more changes because there's obviously more moisture to fuel the rain. The real concern, however, and this is something we're going to take a deeper look at on the show today, is how all of these changes affect the nation's farmers. Unseasonal rain in October could threaten mm. their harvest, it could disrupt crop cycles, it could force many to turn to stubble burning as they race to prepare, remember, for the next sowing season. As our climate continues to warm up, these late monsoons are becoming the new normal. We've talked about that, but what could this potentially mm. mean for millions across the country. We'll dive deeper into what this means and what the future of rainfall is going to look like across our country, what the effects could be on agriculture and the economy. We'll take a look at all of that right here on the show. Let's take you across to our guest right all now. Right. Shrishti is with us. Sonal, do you want to go ahead and ask her maybe the first question? Yeah, hi. Good morning, Shristi. Lovely to have you here. Not very long ago, we were talking, uh, you know, we were sitting down and talking about how there is a delay in the heat wave, more intense. Now we're talking about delay in monsoon, more intense this time around as well. There are bigger climate change questions one has to ask, but let me just start by this. If you look at the change in trends, and we'll ask our uh, producers to throw up those maps on screen as well, we see a large sort of a delay or an extension of monsoon happen mostly in central India and north India while south continues to be the same more or less. Why exactly is that happening? So, uh, good morning Sonal, yes. Uh, so, what's happening is that monsoon is becoming more erratic. Just to explain to our viewers in very clear terms, it's a four-month season starts in the first week of June and then withdraws by uh, the end of September. Now what is happening, like you said, is that it's taking a little longer to retreat from uh, North India as well as parts of Central India. And that is why uh, the uh, India Meteorological Department had also revised the new uh, normal dates for withdrawal of the monsoon. So earlier what ha used to happen is that it used to withdraw from the western part of Rajasthan by 1st of September. But now it's happening around 17th of September from Bikaner and parts of uh, the western uh, Rajasthan districts. But even then, it's taking a little longer. If you uh, remember in uh, 2021, it took almost two, uh, three weeks to retreat from that part. And uh, last year also, it took a little longer. What happens now is that the seasonal rains, they continue to like the end of September and then spill over to October, which is what is happening in large parts hmm. of North and uh, Central India. Okay, can you just tell our audiences, Shrishti, because we're talking about this change that we're seeing, but let's take a deeper look at why. What do we know? And I just want to tell our audiences, we know the government has recently upgraded their, their weather instruments. Uh, I believe they called it Mission Mosam. They've invested essentially in much, much more accurate instruments across the entire country to predict the weather. Will that give us a sharper idea of why or a sharper understanding essentially of how, how the rainfall and how the weather patterns are changing? Right, Toya. So, uh, it's also important for our uh, viewers to understand that, see, we are yet to uh, really determine what is leading to this uh, delayed withdrawal of the monsoon. And these are some of the questions that scientists are planning to really address through these missions. The current mission which you just talked about was announced by the government, though it do doesn't really touch upon the monsoon, but overall on the weather observations. And these weather observations are going to really help us to answer these questions. And we are going to set up uh, almost 100 radars across the country. We have about 39 of them, so additional 60 
safety would be set up across the country. There will be vertical wind profilers. Mm. So all these observations will really help us determine how the weather is really changing. And then we can put that information into our forecasting models and come out with these observations. Mm. I would also like to add, like uh, you've been asking about what is really leading to this delayed withdrawal. Uh, See, one of, one of the main, uh, I think, observations is that, of course, climate change, which is really altering how the weather really behaves. Uh, you know, it has uh, really increased the uh, moisture carrying capacity of the atmosphere. So what happens is the, how the clouds behave, uh, you know, they are behaving differently every time. Second, uh, monsoon has a way of behaving differently every 10 years. Okay, so this could be one of the reasons. But like you mm. initially began with, uh, you know, Earlier, a lot of a large part of India used to be really arid land, you know, especially Western Rajasthan, where we are talking about. Now it's mostly a lot of these districts are also turned into agricultural land. So that has changed the dynamics. So according to scientists, we are not really sh sure what is really the cause, but all these factors could mm. be behind, you know, this erratic pattern of monsoon now. Mm. Got it. Got it. We've spoken about cause. Let's talk about effect then, Shristi. A lot of our TBC viewers watching this morning would be like, why uh, do we care if the dates are changing? How does it impact our life? Could okay. you take us through direct impact on the life of those in urban India and in rural India? What happens if there is delayed monsoon or extended monsoon? Yes. So first of all, um, I think uh, southwest monsoon, which is you know which uh, uh, prevails over India from June to September, brings over 70 to 90 percent of the annual rainfall over the country. So it's a very very crucial system. The amount of rain that we receive during these four months really determine our agricultural production. Mm. And India is an agricultural economy. So if the rains are less, uh, it could really affect the agricultural production. But if the rains are more unseasonal rains here I'm talking about mm. let's say in September if the monsoon doesn't withdraw on time that means the standing crops uh, have a risk of getting damaged this is the time for harvesting for some of the crops like soya bean pulses mm. black ram in Maharashtra they have already started harvesting but paddy here in the North India belt and in central India we there are large states which where we sow paddy and this is the time when the harvesting begins around 1st of October now, if we say that the rains are still on even till the first week of October, that means the harvesting will get delayed. A lot of this crop which has already matured, we will not be able to harvest it, it will get damaged and that is why the, uh, our farmers are going to really suffer. Another uh, cause here is that because the harvesting window has really shortened now because there are rains, so farmers are kind of resorting to uh, practices like stubble burning. And here in Delhi, we already know what the mm. impact of that stubble burning is. So yeah. all these things are kind of linked to this erratic pattern of monsoon, late withdrawal, unseasonal rains. And, um, and in urban India, we have already seen how the, you know, the rains are continuous. We are witnessing urban flooding, something that we are still not very prepared with. Uh, Shrishti, tell us, uh, you know, we kind of a little earlier in the show were discussing how our weather instruments right now can't tell us too much but there is more accuracy in the system in the next few months especially. I just want to understand from you, are we looking at, and this is a tough question, you might say we don't have the data, but are we looking potentially at a delayed monsoon like this in the next few years too? Because we know climate change for example is not going anywhere or is it difficult for scientists to tell us? Uh, definitely, Toya, climate change has altered the way weather really, uh, you know, happens. It's altering the monsoon as well. It's kind of established that it has made the monsoon erratic. Uh, the way it, you know, uh, prevails over India this, during these four months, you know, if you've also seen, you know, now we're getting more rain in a fewer number of days and then there are days we don't get uh, rain at all. So, um, and the current, our current understanding of how weather or monsoon behaves is based on 100 years of data. But now, over the last uh, few decades, mm. due to warming, everything is changing. And that's what scientists are now, you know, mm. that is what our priority, that we get a lot of observations. What are the latest observations? What are the latest data? So that, obviously, we can put into our forecasting models. And that is why we are investing a lot. The recent uh, mission, which has been approved by the Union Cabinet, will help us answer some of these questions. This is the first phase of the project. And by the next 18 months, we'll see mm. the number of radars going up, like I said, 200 vertical wind, 
We've been profilers in as many as 17 locations. So we really know what's happening in the atmosphere, how the clouds mm. form, you know, how everything is changing. So yes, a better understanding yeah. of monsoon and the weather in the years to come. It sort of uh, makes me to question if they'll be using AI to sort of make sense of all this data as well. And that could be another story that we can explore, Shrishti. But uh, just give us a perspective on India versus the world on this one. Are these changing weather patterns, I'm sure not only central or not only limited to India, world over the phenomena remains the same? Uh, definitely. To answer your first question, yes, we are planning to use artificial intelligence and machine learning in our forecasting models and that's exactly part of this current mission. And overall, uh, see, climate change is uh, something that doesn't impact just one country alone. It's a, it covers the entire earth and we are witnessing these, you know, extreme rainfall, uh, disastrous flooding, once in a, uh, you know, hundred years flooding happening in different countries. And uh, all, all these mm. countries are kind of, you know, uh, troubled by these changing weather patterns. We talked about heat waves all through summer and now we are talking about rain. So yes, these weather patterns uh, you know, are getting changed because of uh, the changing climate and global warming. And uh, uh, meteorologists across the world are really trying you know, to answer some of these questions so that we can predict them better. Also to inform, uh, the United Nations has given a deadline to all the countries that by 2027, you get, you know, get a better understanding of all these extreme weather events so that we can issue early warnings. Rains, floods, drought, everything. So yes, it, it's a global uh, issue. Mm. Yeah, that's right. And in fact, that's something that uh, we continue to sort of keep a focus on. Right. But this AI being used for weather patterns is quite interesting. And let's explore that as well moving forward. Thanks so much, Shristi, for joining us. Uh,